So today I'm going to show you how to add just one security group to multiple security group. So let's say for example, I have a universal group I created which is called the Global HR, just a shortcut for human resources. So I want to add this group, so actually like thousands, hundreds or thousands of different security group in different organization unit. So let's say, let me just give an, let, let me give an example. Let's say you have like, um, just an example, like a site, and you have different of security group. Let's say we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have number nine or uh, organization units, but let's assume you have like hundred or thousands of organization units. And here, if I go to the, open this um, organization unit, I have different organization units as well in this organization unit. And here I have like a domain local security group. You can see we have a different, um, a lot of um, domain local security group. So it's, it is actually as well with the other groups. So they are all the same. So you also use um, PowerShell to actually create this um, group. These are not created manually. So as you may know, you don't add, actually, if you want to add the domain local group, you don't just add a user um, a user to this um, to become a member here. What you actually do, you add a global or universal security group to the domain local group and not a user. So what you, then this domain local group is will be added actually to the file. So I have a file server here. Well, let me just go to the file, to the file server itself. So I have a file server here. I created a map called HR, which is human resources. So if I go to the properties of the file here and I go to security, and here you can see I've added the domain local group I created in my Active Directory to this group. So in, it is this domain local group you will use to actually assign um, access to the user. So you can see the R means that the user will not have, we only have the read and exec, um, execute access, while the ROW, which is the read write, we can access, we actually allow the user to modify any files that is included in this folder. So if I go back to my domain controller, and here you see the, um, let me just close this folder. So right now I'm going to actually add all this security group to every single group that include the HL read in the different organization unit. But I'm not going to do that manually. I'm going to do, do that using a very simple script in PowerShell. So here's the PowerShell script I have created. So right now I have a, I have created a variable which is called groups, yeah. So I'm going to search for use the get added group to search for a group called the HR which include the HR. But I'm going to filter that search. So I'm going to exclude everything not like which is include ROW because what I'm what, what I'm going to do is this. If I search for this, so oh I think I, so if I search for this. The HR is going to actually um, impute everything into the groups variable I created. So let me just actually search for it right now. Let me just click on run selection here. Yeah. And if I put in my variables and I OK, here you can see we have all the different groups here. You can see only the one with the read will actually be the security group with R will actually be displayed. and the RW will not be displayed. And if you can see, we have, look at the organization units. Just, let me just scroll up a little bit. And here you can see the organization, which is the ANG. And the second one is the BNA, CNC, DND, and so on. So if I go back to my Active Directory, you can see I have the ANG, the BNA, CSC, DMU, DND, just like that. So everything is included in this PowerShell script, which of course they has been invoked into this variable called groups. So what we're going to actually do now, right now we're going to this information that has been, that is now in, is in, my, in my variable. So I'm going to actually, first of all, you have to put on your variable and I'm going to actually create, add a, a new group. So you had add a group member, which is the global human resources to this group. So let me clear my screen and then run the script. The script has been run. So if I go to my Active Directory, let me just go to my site and then do a refresh. Let me start with the ENG. If I go to the ENG, 
and here I go I search for the human resources member you can see my global HR is now a member of that group if I go to the RW and I search for the human resources as well let me just search for the human resources as well you can see it's already a member of this group so you can see that is how easy it is actually you can see it's now a member I can as well do it let me just now okay let's look at this we only have one member here which is the global HR so let me just go to my security group and take this test to let me just show you as an example and I put it here so the, okay that doesn't contain any space actually so I'm just going to actually put the test to because the test so it doesn't contain any space so let me just use this now and I run this again and I run this as well and if I go back to my active directory I do a refresh and I go to the here we can see we have two members as well two security group and if I go to the second one as well it's going to also be the same here you can see so if you have thousands of groups, that is how you actually copy your uh, move or copy um, a single security group and actually copy it to multiple um, groups in Active Directory without doing it manually. So my name is Kelvin Johnson and please if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to give me a thumb and also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related videos. So anytime I upload a new video, you will get a notification and probably that video can be of a great help to you. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.